Come on, we got this. Come on. Cut the power. Cut the power. No. No. Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. This is my all-time favourite game. I have got hundreds of hours in this game, probably close to 400 hours. I know it's kind of sad, but uh, it is really that good. Basically, in this game, you build your own rockets, your own drones, your own satellites, aeroplanes, whatever you want to make, and you go exploring in them. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just awesome. So let's get to the game and uh, you can see how, how good it is. So I'm gonna actually start a new game in sandbox mode. And today I'm not gonna go crazy, I'm just gonna build an aeroplane. It's quite basic really, if you know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, let's go for it. So firstly, I'm gonna put in uh, a cockpit. We need some form of control for the aircraft, whether that's through um, a radio, such as this box here, or this, uh, this circle here, these are computers, or whether we use uh, an inline cockpit, that's up to us. But I'm going to use an inline cockpit because I like to have them with a, an actual dude inside. Makes me feel like I should uh, be a bit more careful so I don't crash the thing. Now we're going to look for a fuel tank. We've got to build like the structure of the aeroplane. I'm sure you've all seen an aeroplane before. So, uh, Let's go to the fuel tanks. And I'm going to use liquid fuel tanks to make up the body of the aeroplane. Um, I do quite sometimes like making funny looking aeroplanes. So, what should we do? Think of ideas. I have an idea. Let's make something quite funny first and see if we can get it to work. Let's make a very long aeroplane and uh, see if we can get it to work. So I'm going to put a big line of fuel tanks up at front to give it uh, a nice aerodynamic profile and at the top I'm thinking or the back, what should I do? A big fuel tank. Um, I'll put that there. That doesn't look like something that's going to fly very easily. It uh, it looks quite weird. I've never seen an aeroplane look like that before. So let's start by putting some landing gear on it. Now with landing gear, generally speaking, I like to have the front of the aircraft facing up a couple of degrees. This just means that as I'm sort of speeding up, I can slowly take off. So I'm going to put small landing gear on the front. Um, and by clicking this button down here, I'll, I'll give a how-to on how to use the game in the future. But uh, we can duplicate the wheels, so we can have one either side. And I'm going to use the rotate tool to bring them straight. And for the back, I think I'm going to have one or two sets of large wheels. I think we'll have one wheel on the back. We don't need two. Sort of a tricycle theme going on here. That's way too big. What about medium? Yeah, medium will do it. Perfect. And I think I'll move these back. Awesome. So, we have the makings of an aeroplane. Now, it's obviously missing something, and uh, that's a set of wings. So, we'll go to the aerodynamics panel, and we can add a set of wings. We have all sorts of different types, from little stubby things like this to uh, really big wings like this. 
Now, generally speaking, you want to put the wings on the center of the center of gravity or the center of mass, which is about here. And uh, we'll have the aerodynamic overlay. And that will allow us to uh, place the wings in the right spot. So I'm going to put them there. And I'm going to put a set of winglets at the back to create a little bit of drag. Actually, I'm not. Not just yet. I'm going to put an engine on. So I'm going to go to engines. And uh, we want an engine that can burn liquid fuel or basically an aeroplane engine and not a rocket engine. So I'm going to go to this turbofan engine and I'm going to plonk it there. So there we go. We have the basics of a wonky, funny looking aeroplane. Now then, how are we going to actually steer this thing? Well, we're going to have to go and put some winglets on it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to select the Delta Deluxe winglets. There's no real reason for choosing these over any other one, but it's just the one I'm going with. And then also I'm going to use a AVR8 winglet to steer and act as a rudder. That's not going to work there. Let's have a look where it should go. I think he'll do. It's a prototype. And the one last thing we're going to need to get this up and running is some air intakes because that engine at the back, it needs oxygen in order to run. So let's go here and select some adjustable ramp intakes. Um, actually, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to look for some other ones. There they are. The radial air intakes, the other type. So that kind of looks like a stingray. I think uh, it's got quite a good look to it. Quite a funny looking one. Looks like a bow and arrow as well. Right then, so let's go for it. And see if it runs. Whoa! The back. You done an endo then. It's, uh, it's pretty front heavy. I think that's clear enough. So I'm going to press T, which will basically see Jebediah down here in the bottom well uh, he's our pilot for today and we can actually get Jebediah to come out of the vehicle and we can control him uh, so when you're in space you can go exploring or whatever but for now we're gonna jump back into the aircraft so Jebediah is our pilot for today now then if we press T again SAS that will this will uh, basically give Jebediah permission to try and stabilize the aircraft to the direction that we point it. So we're not going to have to make constant adjustments. Also by pressing the space bar, we enable the engine. So we've just started up the engine. Now, hopefully we are going to be able to uh, just floor it down this runway and take off at the end. So let's go for it. Do you think it's going to take off or do you think it's going to end horribly. I think. I think it's very front heavy and it's going to tip over. Which is kind of what we were going for. So the little engine, little turbofan engine, struggling to try and get him up to speed. I think uh, it's definitely an idea to maybe put some more engines on the back. But it will get us up to speed if we give it time. We're starting to pick up speed now, 55, 60 meters a second. We're definitely in uh, dangerous territory now. Jebediah can kill himself if he hits anything. Come on, you can do it. 75, 80, let's pull up. Ready for the jump. Pull up. I'm giving her all she's got! Oh. Well, that didn't go too well, did it? Right then. So, let's revert to launch. Let's pretend it never happened. Actually, let's revert to the space uh, plane hangar. We'll go to the space center. And uh, we'll make some modifications to it. 
I don't know why, but whenever I'm playing a airplane or a boat game and something's going wrong, I put this Scottish accent on. I think it uh, stems from Chicken Run with the chicken, the Scottish chicken, this the pilot. Anyway, that's not important. I think we're going to need some better ailerons on the back. So, whatever they're called. Elevators, that's right, not ailerons. What am I like? Uh, right, so I'm going to put some upgraded ailerons on the back. And not only that, I'm going to upgrade this engine. I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to put a structural part on, which basically allows me to fit another two engines in the place of that one because I think more speed is always uh, it's always a help especially in uh, these types of things you need more more speed more lift <coughs> more likely to uh, take off I think we'll give it another go like this and see what happens right then come on Valentina keep me safe Those engines are sounding healthier, and we haven't got the afterburner effect showing that the engines are struggling for air, so they're running good. They're not being choked with the oxygen. 50 meters a second. 55, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80. We're seriously motoring along. I just hope we get a good launch at the end without uh oh. Yes, we have flight. We have flight. It's a bit all over the place. We're losing speed. We're losing speed. Put the wheels up. Come on! Full power! Oh, we're barely flying. Barely flying. We're struggling to stay in the air. And we're taking quite a bit of ailerons. Like Valentine is adjusting that so that we can maintain this. We are climbing, mind. So once we get to about 600 metres, I'm going to try and stabilise the aircraft. Get a bit more um, airspeed. And uh, maybe we can return and further develop the uh, the aeroplane okay so we're at uh... alright so we're cruising now we're picking up airspeed I don't think we have much option but to try and turn around we're losing speed it just doesn't have the power to push such an ugly piece of uh, aircraft through the air so I'm bashing away at the rudder uh, she's going down she's going down no she's not we got it come on Valentina don't let me down now she's having the time of her life down there in the corner <laughs> that's pretty much what my face is like when I play this game Come on! Uh, this plane does not want to turn, but we've got to get Valentina back safely. We're going to stall, I can see it. Uh, we just don't have the height to be playing around with banking so steep. So if you can see in the bottom left, I'm constantly bashing away at these controls. And uh, I've been playing this game a long time, so... It's probably not the type of air airplane that a beginner could fly. But come on, that's a pretty cool looking airplane. It looks like some sort of stingray or something. I think we should call it that, the stingray. Yes, the stingray. That's what it's going to be called. I want to get over to the area of the uh, 
airport where we took off if I can. But I've got to get some more height because it's too risky at this level trying to uh, make sharp turns. I'm going to use the rudder, I think, a bit to try and get it to turn. It ain't have any, though. It's just... It's just all over the place. No. No! No! Ah, oh, Valentina. Valentina. Ah, oh, she's dead. You can see her sink into the bottom of the ocean. So again, that plane was, it was actually quite fun to drive, uh, to fly, but it just doesn't have the power. It's just like, it's really struggling. So I'm gonna put even more engines on it. I'm gonna go to the structural area, same as last time. And this time I'm gonna put a thing on that gives us four times the amount of points for bolting an engine on. And I need to make this clear, if you are new to this game, this is an inherently rubbish design. I've done this on purpose, because uh, it's, it's a bit more satisfying when you can get something like this to actually work. But uh, I'm going to put... I'm going to put some rudders on at the back here. These will help us to rotate the plane. Actually, I won't. I'm going to move these. I'm going to have one on the top of the airplane, one on the bottom. So these are going to act as our elevators and these are going to act as our rudder. Now I'm trying to think, why isn't it... Why is it giving us such a hard time when we're trying to use the rudder? Because we use the rudder and it sort of pitches all over the place and at the same time. And I think we need some sort of fixed wing to give us a bit of drag at the rear of the plane. So I'm going to use a couple of them and uh, hopefully they'll make some sort of improvement. Another thing I think is clear we need is um, we need some sort of aerodynamic cone on the front. So I'm going to go to structural. I'm sure there's got to be something that will fit on the front of there. I know. Actually, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to add some air intakes because we've got more engines, we need more air intakes. So where should these go? I think I'll press the R button. I'll put two there. And I will put another two there. So let's space them all out a bit so they look at least they look a little bit better then there we go I think that's starting to look like a, a menacing little aeroplane and this big fuel tank on the front that doesn't just hold liquid fuel that also holds oxidizer which is going to come in handy for future plans for this aircraft. But, uh, right, let's give it another go. Fortunately, we have the ability to revert as if it never happened. So Valentina's safe and sound, and she's still in the, in the cockpit. Okay, so for some reason, 
this uh, aircraft is doing a funny dance. I don't know. I don't know what's caused that, but uh, I think we're going to go straight for it. Full throttle, all four engines, get us down the runway as fast as possible. So our mission is simple, to take off in one piece, do a U-turn and land back on this runway. I can't promise we'll do it today, but that's our goal. So uh, definitely got a bit more poke, we're up at 100 meters per second already 120 130 it's flying through the air pull up yes yes it's flying wheels up and immediately we've got a bit more poke we're going faster 160 meters per second lovely job let's keep an eye on our fuel up here I think we'll be uh, we'll be a long time yet before we run out of, any, of fuel or anything like that. So, given the plane more power seems to have helped it. It's definitely more stable. Also, we've got these uh, things here, these uh, elevators. They are controlling our pitch. But also, we have these um, canards on the back, so they're giving us a bit of lift and a bit of stability. You need a bit of drag on the back because it keeps the aeroplane pointing in the right direction which is what I was fighting last time was we're not having that problem now um, so we're, we're going at a nice speed and the aircraft it seems reasonably stable I mean if I turn really sharp I'm pretty sure we will stall but uh, as if you don't know stall is the term for when a plane becomes a really heavy brick it's the point that it's not actually flying anymore the, the, the process of the air going over and creating lift that no longer happens whoa, 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 whoa that almost happened then and it can happen to a plane if the wing is facing the wrong direction to the incoming wind but also it's um, it can happen if there's not enough wind coming over the airplane so that's what happens when planes go too slow they basically fall up in the sky and that is a, a stall right then. So enough about stalls. Let's try and get this pig of an aeroplane to turn. Which it doesn't seem to want to do. Even with all this power. It's just fighting me. It's like trying to tame a blinking beast. This is... No! No! Ah. Uh, what has happened there then? I have no idea. The engines have conked out because there's not enough air going into them. We stalled. Valentina! Right. And uh, let's track down the source of the problem. So there's obviously something wrong with the center of mass. There we go. I can see what it is already. The center of mass has always got to be in front of the center of aerodynamics so basically we're gonna have to put some more weight on the front of the plane that's uh, that's all it is now I wonder if putting another bulbous tank on the front is making it too heavy what do you think <laughs> I mean you look stupid don't you I don't know, see, I think it could work. What's this? Alright, well, we'll put... We'll, we'll try one of these for now. And... We'll try one of them, and we'll see what happens. So we put a bit more weight. Now the centre of mass is in front of the centre of lift. So, uh, let's give it another go. Whoa, it's doing an endo. Endo! That's, a, <laughs> that's quite a skill, that is. Right, I think we should try and take off like that. What do you think? Let's do it. As soon as we get a bit of speed up, hopefully the rudder will push the back down. And 
the red, uh, the elevators. <sighs> Keep getting mixed up. Right, come on. Let's get a bit of airflow on it. Oh no, something went. Come on! Finally, there's a wind hitting the rudders. It's pushing the back down like a spoiler. The back wheel's actually off the ground. No! It's like, it's like a big unicycle. Come on! Yes! Yes! No! No! Oh, oh, darn it. Well, at least Valentina's still alive. I can see her by here. So, oh, I don't know. Right, let's revert flight again to the space plane hangar. Right, now this time, I'm not, I'm not crashing again. I want a successful flight. How can I do this then? Maybe I need more, I need more ailerons. I need more like aerodynamic power. To... Maybe having a couple on the end and also a couple on the end of there. That should do it. Now then. How am I going to stop the tipping on the front wheel thing? I'm going to move the wheels forward with the center of mass. There we are, they've got to be in front of the center of mass, obviously. So, I think that'll do for now. And I'm pretty confident this is going to take off and, and come back in one piece. Hopefully. Because not only have we got to turn around, we also got to land on the runway. So uh, let's go for it. We can do it. I know we can. Ooh, I'm trying to keep it in a straight line. But uh, we risk toppling her over. Oh, that's an ugly looking thing, isn't it? <laughs> that's one ugly thing. Come on. Pull up. Uh, yes! Ah, oh, finally. Got a bit more control. We've got these other flaps on the uh, aeroplane. Allowing us to have a bit more influence over the aeroplane. Like, I just can't seem to get much height. Like, come on, climb. We need height. The higher you are, the longer you have to fix a problem before disaster. So, Yes, if you're 50 meters off the ground and you make a wrong move, then you haven't got long to put it right. And uh, that's something they do teach you in aeroplanes and if you ever play uh, flight simulator games, that's, uh, that's always something they tell you. Also, with uh, remote control aeroplanes and helicopters, they don't say uh, the higher you are, the more mistakes you can make before you hit the ground. So I'm applying that to Cable Space Program. Now then, we've obviously improved this aeroplane because I'm able to take off and turn without a stall, showing the weight distributions in the right place. Also we've got enough engine power to keep the thing in the in the air while doing a sharp turn. Uh, now then, I've got to try and straighten it up with the with the runway. This is going to be our spy plane, I think. <laughs> Which is not very, uh, not very discreet, is it? But I think that's what I'm going to save it as. The Stingray spy plane. So we're going to put our landing gear down. 
Also, I'm going to cut the power, I think, for now. And uh, we're going to... I'm going to have to go quiet now while I concentrate. Come on, we got this. Come on. Cut the power. Cut the power. No. 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 Oh. Again. <sighs> well, if you're not bored by now, um, I'm shocked. But let's have one more go. And uh, we're definitely going in the right direction. I'm not stopping until I get this plane landed on this uh, runway in one piece. Which, let's be honest, it's not the, it's not the best design for anything really. But uh, it's fun to fly. It is pretty fun. I'll give you that. So then, 70, 80, 90, 100 meters per second. We're definitely getting up to speed. It looks quite good from a distance. Pull up. And then gear up straight away. No messing around. Let's get some height. Same as last time. I can hear the engine struggling for air. What can happen is, once if you go too slow, the air pressure drops on the vents and the, uh, the engines don't run right. So, especially if you do a sharp turn, you can starve the engines and then that's never a good thing, especially in a plane with uh, a design this poor. So I'm going to go off to the right a little bit this time, so that when I do a left U-turn, I'm not going to be so far out from the runway. But my descent path was a bit all over the place last time, so I think uh, I think I can learn a lesson from what I just did there. Plus I'm also playing with a keyboard, which doesn't make things... I think it is the best way to play this game. Now then, we're going to start our turn. 45 degree bank we're not going to go for a maximum uh, angle turn we want to keep things nice and stable if we can actually I, we are turning at full full ability because the plane's allowing us to it seems to be handling quite nicely I think for a future video it could be a fun idea to take this off and land it 100% from cockpit view while not being able to see anything. That'd be, uh, that'd be quite fun. Oh, this plane... Because it's quite a poor design. It's, uh, it's not going to be very easy to glide into the landing area. I'm going to have to land quite fast. I'm at full throttle here. Oh, come on, turn. Gear down. Wheels on. Brakes on, rather. Engines off. Come on. Come on, we got this. We got it, we got it, yes. yes. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, right, that's it for this video. I wasn't very successful. 
we give it our best shot. In the next video though, I promise you, this, this airplane is going to take off and land in one piece. We need to upgrade the landing gear because I can't see me getting a gentler landing than that and uh, the wheels just gave way. They couldn't, uh, they couldn't hold the weight. But uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's, uh, it's a great game, Kerbal Space Program. I do suggest you go and check it out if you can. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please consider liking the video if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it. If, uh, if you did enjoy it, please comment down below. And uh, also, if you didn't like the video, please let me know why in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to improve in the next one. So thanks for that and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.